there was a Mickey Mouse yard drain installed. It was just a little four inch, you know, inlet with a solid pipe out to the lake. It failed. And unfortunately, the widow, she ended up with a bunch of water in her basement over this. So this is why we, we emphasize in this channel, treat your water problems as a priority. Like really, really make it a priority. You know, I say all the time, you know, we'll spend a ton of money on blinds for our house and, and beautiful shower curtains and rugs. I understand that. That's a really good, feel good purchase because there's a visual there. But as a homeowner, there's nothing that's more invasive than when water destroys your personal property. Sometimes, you know, you have family heirlooms that you can't replace. So we see this all the time because of the line of work we're in and the services that we provide. And I can't emphasize enough, be responsible with your roof runoff water. Make sure those gutter drains, those roof drains, those downspouts, you catch the water at the downspout and you don't let it go 10 feet or 15 feet. You take it as, as far away from the house as you possibly can and use a strong pipe. I emphasize on spending some extra money to have the good materials because when this fails down the road, it's going to cost you thousands, sometimes tens of thousands, depending on the structural damage, how long it's been. Uh, you know, water is one of those things where it's it's very very invasive at times and then there's the moments where certain situations where it's taxing the foundation it's taxing the home and it's going unnoticed so it can be a situation where a water problem over years causes you tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage i see it all the time so that's why I emphasize, spend the extra money on better materials, take the time to do a better install for a French drain or a yard drain, roof runoff, and your sump pump discharge line. So make sure your sump pump discharge line works and works well. Now you may not be having problems with it, but what does it hurt to have a plumber come and run a camera through it? and see what he sees. Minerals build up. And as minerals build up, now the pipe doesn't displace as much water. So when the rainy season comes, you might end up with a flooded basement over this. So for the health of your overall drainage around your home, I recommend every five years, have a camera go through your sump line. See what's going on there. Don't wait for failure. Failure can cost you way too much money. And these insurance companies don't like to cover that kind of damage. It's usually kind of quite difficult to get coverage unless you have an umbrella policy for water damage. Unfortunately, they just don't cover it typically. I do get involved in some insurance jobs, but unfortunately, most insurances don't cover that. So run your roof runoff response responsibly. Be very responsible with that water. Like I said, I know the clay's hard to dig. You got a pickaxe, rent a piece of equipment. Now you, you can use a trencher for downspouts. I know that I don't care for a trencher for French drains and I'll go over that more in other videos. But for downspouts, it's okay to run a trencher because a trencher only, you know, the typical trencher only makes like a six inch trench. That's all. But that's all you need to put in a four inch solid of the high octane solid royal blue that's it so you can use a trencher as a homeowner rent it i encourage you to do that and if you don't want to rent a sod cutter and you don't want to take the time with the sod then when you're done just go put some grass seed down put some straw over it and water it and that's it grass is pretty easy but the three big things you, you got to watch your downspouts you got to make sure that you run them responsibly and then you just can't forget about them. You just can't let life happen and grass grow over that discharge. I see it all the time. The grass grows over the pop-ups. The grass grows over the speedy basins, the six inch speedy basins. It'll grow over, 
our 9x9s, it'll even grow over a 12x12 12 12 eventually. So cut the grass out around the discharge location of your roof runoff system. I can't emphasize that enough. And you should do that once a year. And then again, every five years, have somebody run a camera through your sump pump discharge line, making sure it's in good health. And anywhere that you have water lying near the home that could be a problem, run a French drain or a yard drain or a combination. I've made several videos where I show combining a yard drain with a French drain. We give you all the tools. And because you guys kept calling our office, <laughs> ringing our phone off the hook, the girls couldn't get their work done. We couldn't get nothing done in the office because everybody wanted the same products that we use right here at French Drain Man. So we went ahead not knowing a thing about freight, not knowing a thing about shipping, and we started shipping our products all over the United States and Canada to our subscribers that want to use the same quality products that we use here at French Drain Man.